Hello, my name is Chris Osner, and today I'm going to be doing some cooking from menus from my husband's book, The Miami Mediterranean Diet, written by Dr. Michael Osner. I'm going to start with a roasted garlic as an appetizer, and we're also going to add to that toasted pita. As well, we're going to do a tabbouleh. I'm going to follow that with a spinach endive salad with a shallot dressing. From there, we'll go on to the entree, a chicken piccata, and we will finish with a baked stuffed apple. Before I actually get started on showing you how to prepare a garlic for roasting, I'd like to talk a little bit about garlic. When you chop garlic, you actually are releasing a substance called allicin. And allicin reacts with the normal, natural production of hydrogen sulfide in your body, which is an antioxidant. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the garlic for roasting. And the best way to do it is just take a very sharp knife and you want to go around the tops of the garlic just a little bit. And you take this off and just try to keep as much of the, of the, um, the skin on the garlic as you possibly can. So we're going to go around, cut this off, pull these little pieces off. just like that. And to be honest with you, I don't like to waste things. So I often take the little remnants like this and save them because I'm going to use them in another dish at some point. Okay, the next thing we want to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take a small little oven-proof dish and we're going to put the garlic in it. And we're going to use an olive oil. You don't need much. So anyhow, we're getting back to our garlic. I'm going to just drizzle some around the outside, put a little bit into the dish. And then what I'd like to do is add some spices. In this case, I'm going to use a mixture of Italian spices. You don't have to go out and buy different ones. There's actually some that are already prepared for you. And they're great to put on top of garlic. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to save this, because we're going to move on to preparing pita, because the pita, um, we're going to use it not only to put the roasted garlic on after it's finished, but we're also going to use this pita for our tabbouleh that we're going to also prepare in just a few minutes. There's a very quick way to cut pita. I like to use a kitchen scissors, because it really makes it so much easier than trying it with a knife. And I like to make it in little triangles because it makes it look a little bit nicer. So then after I've done this, I will pull it apart like so. And we will put it on a tray where we have a little bit of parchment paper. And we'll just lay the pieces on like this. Now that we've got our pita cut, I'm going to spray it lightly with olive oil. And I just use an ordinary olive oil, and we're going to spray it very lightly. Okay. And we're finished with that. And again, the pita, you can put any kind of seasoning on it that you want. I prefer a garlic powder, or again, a mixed Italian seasoning. But it's whatever floats your boat that you want to do. So a little, just a little bit. You don't need much. You just want to season it just a tiny little bit, just like that. OK, we're all set. Now we're going to put these in the oven. This is very short. It's only going to take about three to four minutes until these little things become crispy. And then you want to take them out, and you want to sit, let them sit at room temperature, and they just get a little bit harder and become like a cracker. And so these will go in the oven now at about 300 degrees for about four or five minutes at the most. However, our garlic will go in at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead and put those in the oven now.